Battle is cut. He's cut over the right eye. I'm not sure whether it was a punch or a clash of heads which has opened that. And perhaps uh, at the end of the round we can see how bad it is, but there's a lot of blood around. Looks like he's running down into the eye as well. Isn't it? It's above his it's above his right eye. And the corner's going to have to go to work on that. Mick Williamson in the corner, he's the cuts man. And he's going to have to work long and hard on that one. Let's take a look and see just where it is. And it's in the nick, so that's not as dangerous as it might have been. But nevertheless, it's obviously an encumbrance at this stage of the contest. It's due to go six rounds, so they've got to do a good job patching up. Graham Arnold, 26 years old. Nine professional fights. He's won three of them, won by knockout and lost six. And Pasley, on the other hand, has managed to stop the flow of the blood there. He's in his third professional fight, 29 years old. And two victories, one of them inside the distance. As Harry was saying, he did actually have to get up off the canvas to win one of those fights. What a nasty looking neck, that, Harry. It's not, not, that's going to need stitches, I'd have thought. It's in a bad place and it's still bleeding. I don't think they haven't actually staunched the floor of blood there. Well, referee Mark Green, of course, will be well aware of that. And he's the one who's going to be deciding, along with a bit of assistance from the ringside doctor, as to just how bad that it actually is. Is the, the, the win now? He says the win there for the taking. And Lord knows he could do with the win over uh, someone like Pasley to get his own career back on course because uh, he's been kind of drifting through. Oh no, not more. Put together a good combination, and Arnold's all over the place. Pasley celebrates, and I think he senses quite rightly that the end is nigh. Arnold would look like he was getting back into the fight at that point and uh, then Pasley produced that very good combination. Well, that cuts opening up again, so he really does want to get this finished. And he knows it. But on the other hand, he doesn't want to get wild in there. He's got to pick his punches. And the eye getting worse by the second. I think this chance may be gone here. Arnold seems to have recovered from that knockdown. It really does look quite unpleasant now, that eye. A lot of blood around on Arnold's body, and none of it's his. Just a danger that Pat Pashley might have punched himself out. He's suddenly looking a little bit heavy legged. Blinking the blood away from his eye, too. A little desperate look about Pat Parsley's work. sinks to the ground, it wasn't a, a knockdown by any sense of the imagination. Oh, Pasley's getting caught as he comes in. China and low punches and Lumley punches after the bell, which we can, frankly, we can do without. No, I don't think it was intentional. He was, uh, was very keen to apologise. Arnold wasn't quite so keen to receive the apology. <laughs> Well, he was almost manhandled back to his corner by Mick Williamson, who uh, just wants to didn't, didn't want him to apologise. He wanted him to get back there so he could work on that cut. I think that... Let's take a look again at the knockdown, Harry. This came just at a point when Arnold was beginning to get into the fight, and then Pasley showed his uh, amateur quality, really. He was a former ABA champion, a really 
cast a little combination of punches. It was the initial right hand which really did the damage. There. That was the big punch. That was the one which put him down, but it was the earlier one which did the damage. Arnold did well to come back from that knockdown. Now he looked uh, all over for him at that stage. Well, our commentary position here is speckled with blood from the eye of, uh, of Pat Pasley. For the time being, they've managed to halt it. It's called men from the uh, very impressive new Peacock Gin in Canning Town in, uh, in London, London's East End. A lot of fighters using that gym nowadays. Lennox Lewis prepares for his fights down there. And, uh, Pastor's getting through again there now. Pastor's corner man urging him forward, trying to get him to carry the fight. Useful work for the body for him. Yeah, good left hand. It's a real blood and gut struggle this one now, Harry. Certainly no place for shrinking violets this particular ring. The kind of heavyweight fight the punters love, isn't it? Crowd's loving it and rightly so. It's not exactly sweet science, but it's turning into a tremendous scrap. contests may possibly have uh, have not stood up to this as well as he had but he's got his home crowd you know and he sees that cut as well mm, it makes such a difference to a fighter's morale doesn't it uh, he's in a tough fight and the crowd is with him the eye looks to me as though it's worsening referee asking him if he's okay Pastor's breathing very hard, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure that feeling the first time. I'm not convinced that Pastor's the one who should be deciding whether or not he's okay, because that cut really does look quite unpleasant. has fallen down in his own corner he's being held back to his feet now but the referee was absolutely right in stopping that one tremendous right hand thrown out of the blue from Graham Arnold and the Don Pat Patsley the fighting lawyer finds that boxing after all might not be perhaps the easier of the two careers this is the drama of heavyweight boxing anything can happen at any second and it just did well let's take another look at the knockdown as Graham Arnold celebrates with the crowd people coming to ringside wanting to shake his hand he was surely behind on points and bang well, you won't see a cleaner knockout than this well you can't say that he was uh, he had started to blow a bit but you can't say he was affected by that blood because it came from the left eye the punch came from the left hand side rather and he well if he didn't see it coming he certainly felt it Well, what a cracking little contest that turned out to be, Harry. <laughs> well, it's a, a real heavyweight pride pleaser. Over on the far side of the ring, Pat Pasley getting uh, a little bit of treatment from his corner man. But he's sitting there and uh, his senses appear to have been collected perfectly well, nice to say. And so Graham Arnold from Bury St. Edmunds has secured a stoppage victory over Pat Pasley, upsetting the odds. But as we say in boxing, just one punch can do it. Graham, congratulations. You had to come so off, up off the canvas yeah. and in the end found a tremendous punch yourself. I've been, I've been trying to land that punch for so long. You know, I knew I had the power there. It was just a matter of time of it coming, you know. I've been trying to, you know, I've always tried to punch hard, but um, 
for all the training and everything, the work I've done has paid off. I'm really pleased. Must be one of the better punches you've thrown in your career, one isn't of, it? One of the best punches I've thrown in my career, I think. You know, I'd say on top of the world. Can't believe it. My fiance's at home waiting, you know, she's I don't really get, spend much time with her because my training comes first at the end of the day. I'm getting married in eight weeks' time, so have a little break, and make the most of it, get married, have a nice holiday, maybe have a fight before or fight after, just have to wait and see, you know. But hope, <laughs> I hope we do get a Southern Area title fight with hopefully Scott Welsh. You know, I just hope, you know, something comes off. Just have to wait and see. Well, we shall see. Congratulations. Shall. Excellent yeah. performance. Yeah. Enjoy your night. I will. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Yes, congratulations from Graham Arnold. It just goes to show that in heavyweight boxing, anything can happen.